This is Lee from The Enquirer, and I'm with Acer in New York, who today unveiled their Aspire R7 notebook. Would you like to talk us through some of the main features of the device and how it works, please? Sure, of course. As, as a system that actually caters to the each, and, and each and every end user, we want to make sure that everything works perfectly, to have a perfect immersive feel in terms of display, touch, and adjust to each and every one of the different end users. Now, some folks are going to be taller, some folks are going to be um, shorter. Doesn't matter, it caters to the, each individual. So if you want to share something with your coworkers, your friends, your clients, you can do that. You can turn that around. Of course, now you can have your own mode. And to close it, it's just as easy. So I'm going to slow it down very quick. One hand, bring it closer. It depends on my height. Right now it's on the low side because the table is short. So now I can do a long amount of um, touch experience. I can share it, I can close it, and I'm done. Right. And um, I've noticed that the trackpad's behind the keyboard. Can you explain why? Oh, yes. Our key, is, our key that we have here is we want to make sure that the touch experience is perfect. We want to somehow bring touch closer to the end user. So yes, if you want to use this as a notebook with a touchpad, it is there. But we want to think outside the box and see what can we do to immerse the touch experience with the user. So I got my keyboard, I got my navigations. Yeah. And so since the touch is closer to you, you can perform more interactions with the system by API touch. Or if you want to do pure touch, it's there. We actually have a 10 degree angles over here. And the reason for that is to make sure that when we are using the system, the display is aligned with your eyes. Otherwise, you have to really contort yourself and you move forward to get the proper display experience. And the ergonomics in the 10 degree is there so that you won't have the fatigues when you're uh, touching. And of course, if you want to share it with someone else, you still have that. And the screen rotates. The yeah. screen rotates. And beyond that, because if the screen rotates, guess what the sound does? Sound has to rotate with the screens. So when you're watching, everything makes sense. The plane goes from right to left, the sound goes from right to left. Otherwise, it's a confusing experience. Cool. Um, and the, the screen does look very uh, sort of responsive. Um, what are the specifications of the screen? The screen is a full HD, IPS, wide view, and we want to make sure also the color setting is great. And what about internally? What is it powered by? It's powered by Core i5 or better, depends of course the customers in the regions. Yeah. And um, we want to make sure that the touch experience is perfect. We want to make sure that the viewing experience and that everything else has to be perfect. Yeah. And that's available when? Um, Mid-June for um, your regions. Yeah, for in the UK. In the UK? Yeah. And that's £800? £800. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.